Morning dudes. <coughs> it is Friday and a wet one at that. Rain is coming down, everything's great. Uh, so we're looking at three houses today. Um, one of them I definitely don't want. Uh, the other two, maybe. Um, we had a good look at two yesterday. Um, one of them was a kind of like a suburban blueprint. It was nothing special about it. It was like norm, norm, same, same. Kind of the thing that they do with every house. Uh, garden the size of a postage stamp. And it was just not really, not really feeling it. Uh, the other one was a bungalow, but it had been extended. It was on top of a hill. Really, really amazing views. That was one thing that I was just gobsmacked by. You could see most of Swindon. It was really pretty. Um, but the way that it's positioned, it has very little car parking space. It has a single garage. It has a space outside the front, which is about a quarter of a car's width. And it has a space at the side of the house, um, which the lady says she parks her car there, but because of the way that the hill is, you probably stand the chance of somebody running into the side of your car quite often. Don't want to do that. Um, the house did suffer from subsidence back in the 60s and they've underpinned it to keep it where it is on the hill, uh, which is not a bad thing. Uh, but then they go into talk about on the report that the extension has been done on the original foundation. So there's no new underfloor kind of pinning, if you know what I mean, which kind of worries me a little bit because I'm then kind of thinking, well, it's a lot of weight and the ground was really wet um, and what looked like a kind of V gully kind of running through the side of the garden which basically means it catches a lot of water from the field that's above it basically um, and that then becomes a problem because if you're constantly suffering from torrential water running through your garden you've got to worry what else is happening underground uh, so as nice as the view is and it's kind of probably been one of my favorites so far the issue is car parking and safety safety um, so it, yeah it's kind of off the on the radar but off the burner kind of thing it's, it's too much to deal with to kind of like that property unless we can buy a portion of the field behind the house and convert a drive maybe maybe not but it just opens up a whole load more problems um, so we got three to see today um, one of them maybe I'm not sure on the other one and definitely no on the middle one. But we're gonna go and have a look at them anyway. Uh, so we've got to do something. I wish the people at Rawton would just accept our offer and we can get on with it, we're ready to go. Uh, today we've got a dash camera Range Rover front and rear. It's a, a newer one with electric tailgate, so we'll be making a bracket uh, for the back window, putting it on the headliner and then running the cables through. F200 Pro, Thinkware, and then this afternoon I've got a Mitsubishi L200 Warrior which is having a reversing camera, head unit and facial kit. Uh, it has got the compass and the fuel computer and he wanted it moved but I can't get hold of that section of the kit. I can only get hold of the facial kit if it turns up in time. We've, we've been having a few supplier issues um, and my usual supplier uh, unfortunately, it's got a couple of new lads working for them and I don't think they're that motivated on business. Which is a bit of a bummer. So I started asking about this kit last Saturday when I went down to London to get bits for Tuesday's job. And it was supposed to be sorted Tuesday and a phone call to me to say that, you know, this wasn't this wasn't in stock or that wasn't in stock. Uh, they had the fascia but not the wiring harness, so that's all we had to find to make up a kit. Uh, and by yesterday I realised that I don't have this stuff sent out, it wasn't in my delivery, where is it? And they basically said, well they don't even have the fascia anymore, they've sold everything. And I've not had a phone call to say uh, that they couldn't get it. And when I asked what the problem was, because we sort of initiated this purchase on Saturday, um, the guy was a bit like, well I'm not being funny mate, but have you got any other suppliers you can try? You what? Yeah. <laughs> good business um, so I've gone elsewhere for it and, and if that's the state of things then so be it I will find a new supplier I'm not I'm not being treated like that when 
I put so much money through their business every year as a as a supplier, as a user. That's that's not customer service. Uh, but I'm going to go Greg's, get some breakfast and a coffee, and then get off to work, wait for the range to come in. So I'll see you soon, peeps. Morning, dudes. So, first one in. Rather lovely Range Rover. It's fully loaded. Electric everything. It's got the Meridian sound system, seats. Oh, you know, all of the fun stuff. Um, so we've got front and rear dash camera spot on this one. Obviously, think we're F200 Pro. We've got our rear plastic bracket going on, so we're not interrupting the uh, composite tailgate. Through the headliner, down to the front. Obviously front camera up there to the left, just behind the mirror. We get cracking on this one. Nothing really much to show on it, other than it has the most amusing registration plate, because this is a dash camera, I'm gonna show it, so it's not stereo focused, but. <laughs> you know what that means. <laughs> See you in a bit. Right then, boys and girls. Um, unfortunately, I've done it, piss head. <laughs> There's our bracket, but I think we're attached. Uh, this is a leather head, he head unit. This is a leather head uh, liner. So a little bit more care with this one. <clears throat> We've got rubbers up, obviously, um, Dash camera on the front windscreen, GPS, down to the fuse box down here, earthed onto the big dash bolt. Um, ignition is on and off, but unfortunately my app keeps crashing. So um, Android have obviously done some magnificent update and I can no longer open a Thinkware dash cam link without it crashing immediately. So I can't set the camera up, but it's done. Maybe he's got an iPhone and we'll have more luck by the looks of the lightning lead in there. I'd say he does have a lightning lead. Uh, it does have an iPhone, so it should be all right. But the camera's done. I'm gonna go and look at some houses now. See you in a bit. Right then, fellas, we're done. Friday's finished. Um, so, how has today been left? Basically, we didn't get, although I ordered the Mitsubishi stuff in time, I ordered two parts at the same time. Uh, one box turned up, one box didn't turn up. So DPD up to their old tricks again, which is uh, absolutely magic. So the Mitsubishi didn't happen today. I'm gonna ring him and we're gonna rebook. Um, instead, I have managed to get uh, the battery isolator fitted on the Lotus. So he now has a battery isolator, so we're not gonna have the battery flat while the car's sat here. I can turn it off and turn it on easy. Have it disconnected from the car. I haven't touched the rims yet. We're still waiting on the different compounds for the polish. And I had the Mercedes check today for window tint. So my buddy Ollie obviously has the tint shop. He did the comedian tint on the front of my van. A friend of mine, Shane, just got pulled over and he got nine points for tints on his car. Police over here really don't like tints. So I had to go and get mine checked. Funnily enough, Ollie did my van, or Jason did my van. Um, another tent company in Swindon did Wifey's Cube. And funnily enough, the cube was illegal, 50% dark. That's not allowed. My van, not so. Um, so Wifey's Cube does not have chameleon tint on the front anymore. But that's it for Friday. Need to go home, get some food, uh, and I'll see you bright and early for Saturday. Ta-da, bye. Morning everyone, right, first one in this morning. Transit van, a new shape custom. And we've got the uh, Thinkware dash cam front only for now. We're gonna do a rear camera eventually. Um, wired up to the fuse box down here. Ignition and live is down there. It's on the second one, the inside one, not the outside one. Um, but that's it, nice and simple. Kept in the swept area, away from the dirt. Nice and easy. See you in a bit. Right then dudes. End of play for Saturday. We sorted the horse box with the aerial. Done the transit for the dash camera and I've started attacking another wheel. So obviously this is what we're working with. Grubby. Um, I've had to sand this one right back to get rid of all the imperfections and I'm just gonna start the polishing process. But so far, a nice good base. 
probably need to sand it a little more in certain places but now it's smooth it's not rough anymore